I think you mean Johnny Brass Knuckle. <laughs> so, heard you were trying to sm- to encroach on our territory. Oh, okay. boom, 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 boom. Table collapses. I like to think that the, the, the bucket he's sitting on also collapses, so he's just sitting there on the ground. It, out. like, collapses inward, so it, it still works as a bucket. It just isn't the one you imagined before. Fucking <laughs> inside out, and he's sitting in a bucket. <laughs> Holy shit. That's a big-ass bucket. No, he just Why, got no you. ass. I like to think my bucket's rather big. Robot. Yeah, but that means you don't got that cape. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, Johnny Brass Knuckles stands up, dusts himself off, and picks up his briefcase. Who the hell am I talking to, by the way? What what, what do they look like? Uh, it looks like two humans, a halfling, and an orcish fellow. Um, you notice that immediately, uh, they all they're are. Party. They're all dressed up as <laughs> in. <laughs> In matching like like nineteen fifties mafia outfits, like they stand out like a fucking mile. And also they, nah, never mind that one. They just they look so weird with how well dressed they are, especially for standing now in an alley. Heard you were Johnny, fronting on our territory, yeah. Johnny Brass Knuckles stands up and dusts himself off. He says, uh, and he picks up the briefcase in one hand, and he says. I'm sorry, I didn't realize the Majorettes were in town. Who are you? Oh, 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 look at this guy. We got a funny jokey man. Isn't that right here, Cletus? Cletus? <laughs> 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 or you, Jim Bob? Zigzag name, fake name, four times. Look at this one, Cletus. Get a load of him, Jim Bob. What, what, do, you, what do you have a gander of this, Mark Antonio? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my name, my name is Ga, is Garouk. <laughs> Two southern, one Italian, and one fantasy name. We all fit the bold. And you know who's who. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Cletus is so can't get over that name. I'm part of the Cletus Clearwater Recruit. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's a bad moon rising tonight. Look at this guy over here. Who the fuck are we? Who the fuck are you? What is Who it? Jo- jo- Johnny Brass Knuckles? What kind of name is that? You're not always going to be wearing brass knuckles. It's not going to make sense half the time. Yeah, you tell him, boss. Um, that's the thing. And I hold up my hand where you can just like, the this guy's self is, is absent on my knuckles. I say, that's just the thing. I am always wearing brass knuckles. Ooh, 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 big guy making threats over here. What you think of this one, <laughs> one Cletus? Yeah, you tell him, boss. You really only say the one thing. Okay. Yeah, you tell him, <laughs> boss. <laughs> All right, Cletus, settle down. Oh, is this his make-a-wish? Yeah, you tell him, boss. And a tear <laughs> drops down his cheek. <laughs> We don't take kindly to people who disrespect the less fortunate than us. Unless we're the ones who are making them less fortunate. Capiche? Pulls out a stiletto, but the heel, not the knife. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> well, look, I'd like to say I'd like to proffer to you that, in fact, it is not fortune that is making them less fortunate. If it is, in fact, you making them less fortunate, I would say, however, that that is not fortune. That is simply you robbing them. <laughs> What's... <laughs> no, just cancer. Oh God, I went cross-eyed. <laughs> just cancer. Yeah, you tell him wait, 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 wait. Are you telling me? Hold on, hold on. I thought you was into the extortation business. The, the, we are. The he, this is his make a wish. His last thing he wanted to do was was, was, rob, was rob Jimmy Bearclaw. <laughs> okay, okay. Because for a second there, I thought that you were. You implied that you gave people cancer. And <laughs> No, that's just our poor coding in this city. Anyway, why are we still talking about this? You're right. Um, I think you owe us a bit of that money, huh? And by some of it, I mean all of it. Yeah, you tell him, boy. 
<laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Clean it? <laughs> I hey, swear hey, to God, you, if hey, the cancer hey, doesn't get you, I will! You fucking lay off of him, alright? Don't you life. take his side! He's had a hard life. He grew up in a hard family. He was raised in a hard town, okay? It wasn't his idea to get the cancer, okay? It's look, never anyone's idea! You tell look, him, look, boss! Look. And Cletus looks <laughs> <laughs> conflicted. <laughs> I can't help but feel like we're mo we're losing the situation. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna donate this entire briefcase of bear claws and money to a cancer organization. <gasps> I I wanna I wanna say no to that, but I also feel like that's somehow worse than just stealing it from a bear claw salesman. I'm conflicted now. I didn't expect this going into this. I thought we were just gonna bust your knees open and then take the briefcase. But now I'm having third opinions. Yeah. This really is taking a turn from where I thought it would be. Ever since my office collapsed in on itself and I was sitting in a bucket, I'm not really sure how to proceed. Do you right. want to just give I'll us half and we'll just call it a day? No, oh, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you, fuck a me or fuck a you? I'll fuck a you, what, fuck a me or fuck a you or fuck us all! Fuck you! Okay. Oh my We're god, not fucking Dave. everyone. <laughs> I'll tell you what's gonna happen. Yous is gonna take me to your boss, okay? Why and would I do that for yous? It's not... No, it's, it's not a favor. It's, it's not a favor for me. It's, it's, like, it's like something you do to intimidate me or perhaps bring me to executive justice. <laughs> it isn't like something you would do as a favor to me. I don't, I don't feel like I know you well enough for that. <laughs> I'm getting so, confused uh, this, again. This is what's gonna happen here, Garrock. You're gonna take me to your boss, and I'm gonna tell him to go fuck himself, okay? Okay, I'm following you so far. He <laughs> seems like he's a step on. <laughs> All this for 16 golds and donuts. Hey, they're bear claws. Hey, they're bear claws. Mom. Get out of here, Big Tom. Oh, my God. Big Tom. <laughs> Always stepping in where his nose ain't welcome. <laughs> All right, Garrett, look, you, Cletus, Jim Bob, and the fucking Italian guy. Mark Antonio. <laughs> yeah, Mark Antonio. You're going to take me to your boss, and I'll hash it out with him. Mano a mano, one gangster kingpin to another. Why would I do any of that, though? You just stole 16 gold. It really isn't worth that much. Certainly hey. not enough to trouble the boss. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, you tell him, boss. You know why? You know why? Because I'll cut you in. I'll cut you in one bear claw on the down low. Make a persuasion so check. So nobody got to know except for you, me, Mark Antonio, and Jim Bob. Now I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm noticing something. Hold on, hold on. I'm noticing something. You want to meet the boss, right? Well, there's four of us. There's four bear claws. Okay, there's four and most of one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you what. Wait, did I get? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Out, out of character, did I get that one bear claw that I I, I demanded in addition to the four, or was yes. that? Included? Yes, you got that. It's a little wolf down. But you you ate half of it. Well, eight All is right. a strong word. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll get one bear claw to each of you. Okay. And then keep this partially eaten one <laughs> for later. And then you'll take me to your boss, not as a favor to me, but as a sort of negotiation technique. Bro persuasion, you have advantage, because he's very confused right Why? now. Because like it's so funny! Like some sort of bear claw pact. <laughs> Fifteen. Let me see the bear claws first. Let me inspect All right. them. Hold on, Let I turn, uh, uh, turn into, uh, another barrel that was laying on its side, I, I upright it. Set the briefcase down and click it open and spin it around. I say, they're all here. What's the matter? Don't you trust me? Yeah, after the shit you tried to pull. What am I doing? <laughs> it, and he just looks at the bear claws. <laughs> I, <laughs> you see for a moment of like lucidity of like, wait, wait. 
<laughs> what did that get wrapped up in? <laughs> no, they're all there. Hold on, I have to get the go- figure this out. You see him kind of withdraw for withdraw for a second. You just had a what the fuck am I doing with my life moment? <laughs> Wait, I. You you tell him, boss. <laughs> okay, I'm okay. I get it now. <laughs> All right, all right. We'll bring yous to our boss, and we'll see. We'll let him deal with yous. And he takes a bite out of a bear claw. All right. So are we dropping Cletus back off at the uh, at the hospital on the way? Or? No, no. He part of his uh part of his uh day. We get him. We get him until uh, until curfew starts. Then one of the weave scar picks him up. Yeah, you call him, boy. <laughs> okay. And Sonny closes the briefcase and picks it up and says, where do we go? This way. Starts walking down. No, uh, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't take you there. He starts taking you through the through the market district. All right. Sonny follows him. It's like <coughs> midnight or whatever, right? It's not even close to midnight. I think it's like 730 because of your time frame. Okay, it's like 7.30. So people are still, like, kind of milling around. Okay. And then they just see you and then these four pinstripe, pinstripe dudes. All right, I follow them. <laughs> All right, he leads you after just a little bit of walking. And around the time that they finish their bear claws, they, uh, they take you into just a small... Just a... Just a small, um... A small building, but on the on the sign it has a kind of roulette table, and it just uh, and it says uh... ah fuck it. it says just roll the dice. They got the patent in early <laughs> or the trademark in early. I see. Roll. Okay. All right. Let's go in. Let's go in. And immediately, <laughs> for the first time this session. Scene change! You see this actually pretty... Oh, gosh. Sh- of shocking quality, casino. this almost modern casino. You don't know how they got these <laughs> slot machines here, but you see just like, vi- just like, as soon as you walk in, it's like being transported to a 50s Vegas. Of just like... 19, hit me. 20, hit me. 21, hit me. <laughs> 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 I just Did all over do, just roulette. Dude, all these are digital. This is at least the nineties. <laughs> oh no no no! Magic exists, stupid. Shit. No wait, this is anti-magic town. Never mind. <laughs> and the guy stops you at the front. He's like, "Oh wait, before you get in, you need a coin case." And sometimes <laughs> you can find random coins scattered around the place that so you could use the on the slot machine. And then you can buy Pokemon. And you can buy Pokemon in the back. <laughs> Ah, shit, looks like we're out of Pokemon for the day. (laughs) We're losing the narrative if we ever had it. (laughs) He takes you, and he takes you through this, this Vegas gambling hall towards the back office, and opens the door for you, and behind it, you see a human that very much resembles Joe Pesci. But from Home Alone, not any of the mob movies he's been in. (laughs) Okay. But imagine if they took Home Alone Joe Pesci and made him look like old Joe Pesci from The Irishman. But they were still doing the revert thing. So it is old Joe Pesci looking like young Joe Pesci from Home Alone. It's a lot of layers. There's a lot of layers to this one. I mean, just in everything. All right, boss, this is the guy we didn't tell you about because we've been going to meeting him for the first time. (laughs) What the fuck does that mean? (laughs) <laughs> yeah, you see the little boss. You brought the you brought him here? You brought that kid here? This is a place of business. There's hookers around. There's so many hookers around. Kid. Here's yeah, a, here's a him, here's a gold. Go find a hooker. They'll take care of you. <laughs> anyway, who who are you? Who's this guy? Who's this guy over here? Why does he have a bear closet and a and a briefcase? Oh. Me? Yeah, use. I wasn't. I thought you were talking about Jim Bob. Sorry. No, I was get. I was. I don't know why. I don't know why our organization took up that request. It is not in our brand at all. 
I'm Johnny Brass Knuckles. A pleasure to meet you, Johnny Brass Brass Knuckles. The name, the name Skinny Walker. Um, is that your given name or Christian name? Well, it used to be Skinny Jogger, but I uh, decided to take things slow in life. Oh my god, I hate that joke. I see, so I see, I see. <laughs> well, look. I'll tell you what. You know why I'm here? No, I don't. I have no goddamn clue. <laughs> These guys just brought you in. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, Sonny looks at Garak and he just like gives him the stink eye and just like. <sighs> What do you what do you what do you, what do you even do here? What do you even do here? All right. uh, Look, I'll tell you what, Mr. Walker. I'm Johnny Brass Knuckles. And I'm here to make a splash. And then um he looks around for like a, is there like like a, anybody carrying drinks around on like a tray or something? You could just grab one or like Yeah, I'll say of... I'll say there's a waitress who the door is open and you see a, like a waitress like for the rest of the casino lose her way, walk in here and start offering drinks to the meeting. <laughs> he says, I'm here to make a splash. He looks around <laughs> and he runs over and grabs a drink, runs back, and he dumps it on the ground. That was my like carpet. Why? <laughs> because I'm <clears throat> Did you not hear me? I just said. I just said I'm here to make a splash. No, I get it. It's just that this carpet's going to take a lot to clean. That's... uh, Okay, I'm sorry about the carpet. That was perhaps in haste. (laughs) Anyway, Johnny Brass Knuckles is the name. I hear you run the uh, protection racket around here. No? Who wants to know? He Um, he starts actually looking at you, you, and you see the door close. uh Uh-oh. Who wants to know? Uh... Johnny Brass Knuckles. Who are you with? <laughs> Who am I with? The Brass Knuckles. Gosh, I didn't think I'd have to spell this out for you quite so explicitly. <laughs> Why don't I just break your knees and just get you to, and just throw you out of here? You, you're coming into my office, and I'm a, I'm a patient man. I'm willing to, you know, a newcomer into town. He doesn't quite understand the rules. I'm willing to. I'm not willing. To, I'm not gonna just go off on him at the first step. But you've just poured a, dr- a very fruity, sugary drink on my carpet. That's gonna take oh, a few yeah. hours to clean to clean out. Now you're coming in here. It's bad. just, it it's frankly, it's very rude. Look, I, I don't understand what energy you're bringing here. I don't know why I warranted this hostility, but I I need you to calm down, or I'm gonna break your knees. Okay, okay. I, I, I'm i sorry. I thought it was a gin and tonic. I didn't realize how much sugar was in that. Honestly. We only a serve daiquiris here. <laughs> oh, gosh. Only daiquiris? What kind of joint? A- anyway, I'm not here to judge. I'm sorry. I'm here to make you an offer. Now we're going, boys. Now we're talking. See? See, what, see why we take the patient road. Opportunity presents itself as long as you don't scare it away. Why is that kid still in earshot? <laughs> Look, like I was saying, Mr. Walker, I'm here to cut you a deal, to make you an offer. I would like to offer my services to you as an enforcer. My skills? I am very intimidating. I have brass knuckles. Sometimes I make a good joke, and I can eat a lot of bread. Tell me a good joke. Um, what's the difference between a uh, transportation hub that's pretty gross and a uh, crab with breast implants? I don't know. What is the difference? Oh my god. One's a crusty bus station, the other's a busty crust station. (laughs) Uh, Alright, so let's talk about the brass knuckles then. (laughs) I I walk up to him. I show them my knuckles. No, no, I, I understand the concept of brass knuckles. I meant demonstrated on them. Group just brought you into my office with absolute no reference towards my security. So, uh, show it off on him. What? <laughs> I, I punch him. <laughs> Roll strength. Ten. <laughs> Did you cast shillelagh on yourself like you said? Oh. I think I said that. No, I don't. I don't. I don't cast Shillelagh on myself. I just punch him. Ow! Okay, it leaves a bit of room to be desired. But you know what? The, hey, hey, uh, the whoa, will, whoa, whoa. the spirit is there. I'm not looking to kill this Joker. That was ten percent. Oh ho! 
<laughs> Roll deception, sir. Nice. Ten percent, huh? Show me eleven percent. <laughs> okay. I show... <laughs> what? I show him eleven <laughs> percent. <laughs> oh shit! He didn't. I must say, I'm not. It looks Wait, awful. Wait, I want him. I want him. To roll perception to see if he can detect <laughs> that there is a difference. Wait, did, did Sonny not just take a seriously place. roll the same roll? Yes. Yes. Just, like, he doesn't out. notice. <laughs> Quite an impressive <laughs> period of growth. He's, he's, this man is trashed out of his mind. <laughs> you see so many empty daiquiris. <laughs> Quite an impressive bit of growth there in terms of punch potential. I must say, I'm quite happy with how this went. You know, I took an educated guess as to what a hundred percent was, and I gotta say, I feel that pretty was... good. I feel pretty good guessing where about seventy percent is. Above that, it gets a little hazy again. Well, it get a little hazy for them too, if you know what I mean. All right, tell another good joke. All right, he's got he's got quips. He's got one-liners. He's got at least eleven percent of a good punch. I also got zingers, and goos. Zingers, eh? All right, all right. Um, one thing though, you did join in on a protection racket, so I am gonna need that gold and those bear claws. What do you What do you mean bear claws? Well, you stole you stuck up uh <laughs> you stuck up uh. Oh, what's his name? Uh-huh. Jim yeah. Bearclaw. Who did I stick up again? You stuck up Jim Bearclaw. <laughs> Bearclaw. We always take fu take several of his bear claws as collateral. Make sure nothing he doesn't try anything funny. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's what you do. Me, I'm all about the cash. And then I did take one bear claw because I was kind of kind of peckish, but I ate it. You and did I'm mention you're very good at eating bread. All right, that checks out. What can I say? I'm on the up and up. I swing the briefcase up on... I'm assuming there's a table nearby. Yeah, there's a table. I click it open. I say... Uh, this isn't one go. of the ones that zings. <laughs> it's all for you. As a token of goodwill. 16 gold and two half-eaten donuts. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I wanted. <laughs> Put, he closes the briefcase. Now, Johnny Bearclaw, John, God damn it, Johnny Brass Knuckles, <laughs> Johnny Brass Knuckles, now, just to join, you, you've done a little bit to impress me with, especially that 11% of that punch, but uh, we're going to need a little, a little something to, uh, to show that you're really committed to us. You want me to jack off into something? What? What? Okay, no, you're what? losing points here. No, uh, sorry, what? I, we need you to what? prove you're willing to join our gang and be loyal. You gotta pass a test first before we can welcome you. Oh, is it like a written test or like oral? Uh, more physical. Oh gosh, I don't like how that sounds. What is it? I don't have to have sex, do I? Good. I mean, not unless that's your prerogative. But no, no. You see, come closer. <laughs> Okay, look, hold on now, hold on, Mr. Walker. Now, you said I don't have to have sex, but uh, what you're saying now is leading me to believe something different. Just come closer, you son of a bitch. Okay, I, I take a few steps closer. He, and he leans forward and says, We got a squealer on the crew. I want you to break his fucking neck and I want you to throw him in the town square. Oh, I want everyone to see what happens when you cross the walkers. But not like in a sexual way, no? Um, not unless you want it to. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't... I'm not going to request that. That is your... That is your prerogative. But I do need this man's neck snapped and thrown onto the market. Who is he? Ah, uh, this is Rodrigo the Squealer. We should have known, I know. We should have known. I mean, sometimes, hey, no, Remy right. the rat. Who knew he was gonna be a rat? I we just hired him as a chef. The rat controlling him under his hat the whole time. The problem is, we had paid off the rat, but we didn't pay off the man. It's always the ones you least expect, you know? That's how it goes. 
What's uh, what's he look like? Do I just have to ask around or? Oh, I, I, you, you start he as you walk. If you, he just says, just open, open, open the door. Me, me, open the yeah, door. Yeah, oh. just, just, just open the door real quick. I, sorry, I thought you were telling someone else to open the door. I was, I was I'm sorry. In this audio format, it's very difficult to get that across. Also, I just noticed there's, there's a fucking projector in the top left third of this. <laughs> Why did you just see Google? Get Cino? Why did you just make the first switch? Shut up. He could have been a fantasy casino. I did. Oh, there are no fantasy casino. casinos that don't have busty women all over it. And <laughs> you picked the one from 2003? Anyway. That's how you get the views, David. Fantasy casino. Anyway. anyway. You I open... walk over to the door and I open I say, this door? Yeah, that one. I open the door. So yeah, I heard the boss, he actually uh, isn't a huge fan of bear claws. I hear he actually much prefers the pretzels. That's him! That's the son of a bitch! He won't ever stop! <laughs> yeah, and then uh, on top of that, I hear Garuk, I think he's actually uh, leaning towards uh, retiring. He just seems to be getting confused by all this mob, mob business. <laughs> Why the fuck I does he know Garuk. that? He, he just looks horrified, like, how the fuck does he know that? Oh god. Anyway, I think you can see the problem. Yes. Especially as it seems like some of my henchmen have superhuman hearing, like that one kid who just will not stop saying. Yeah, you go, boy. Okay, that one was quieter. <laughs> I don't know whether he's moving away or whether the he went behind the wall. He's walking. He's, he's walking out the door with that hooker right it. now. <laughs> this is this is a very strange time we live in. Anyway, right, so... uh, kill him, break his neck, just throw him in the middle of the town. Okay, so um, so what you're saying is you want me, Johnny Brass Knuckles, to uh to to break. Well, I mean, Rodrigo's you can bludgeon head. him in the neck using your brass knuckles instead. Really, it's more that he needs to die by your hands, as is and, for your forte. And and by the neck is what you're saying. Ah, uh, eh, neck to face region anyway. I don't. I don't. Anything below that, I feel like you just wouldn't be trying that hard. Hmm. hmm. Okay. I also, I want him to fucking feel it. Oh, Jesus. Damn it! Okay, hold on. He was winding up a big old punch. You want him to feel it? Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna... Let's see. I'm gonna wind up a punch. And I'm gonna hit him with... Da -da -da, 100%. Holy fuck! Whoa, Jesus. 100%! Eric? Why are you doing this on purpose. <laughs> Eric. Eric. What the fuck does it look like? Oh, Jesus. You see guys, something like... Guys, that, that's five damage. No, no, no. This is the narrative now. You you, you, you see uh, uh, Johnny Brass Knuckles turns around and he's like, however I want, okay. I'll hit him with 100% as he's like kind of facing uh, uh, Skinny Walker and just Without looking, he just turns, uh, turns his body and just full on lays out Rodrigo the Squealer, punches him right in the throat. You see his throat just like cave in, and he starts gasping for air and Damn. coughing on the ground. Um, and uh, he turns. And Rodrigo's down. last words are, "Yeah, so I heard some guy was gonna come over and try to kill me." <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, he had ESP. He could see the future. He wasn't a rat. <laughs> Turn back to Skinny Walker and I say, uh, the S is for like that. He stands up. He is markedly shorter than you. He's like five three. Welcome to the crew. Oh wait, hold on. Actually, sorry, sorry. You got to drag it out to the market square. <laughs> sorry, I got a bit ahead of myself. No, 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 no. Sorry, that was on me. I, sorry, I got caught up in the moment. Um, Star wipe. <laughs> Starlight of you just dragging the like elevator music out to the square and people just say night. 
Star like, Star like White scene, back. It's, it's like the scene from Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> and then and then Star White back of you walking in. It's like it's like an hour and a half later. Ah. He's dusting off his hands. Right, like I was saying. All right, all right. From the top. Three, two, one. Welcome to the crew. All right. Yeah, you tell him, God damn it. You want me to punch him? No, he's sorry. He's got cancer. Let's give it to him. No, no, no. He, he, the cancer will deal with him soon enough. He paid a you. hooker to pretend like she was his mom for the night. Wow, that's fucked up. Wow, that's <laughs> that's remarkably dark. <laughs> okay. We've all been there. This kid's got problems, eh? She's like buying him ice cream right now. Using his money. <laughs> Using his money. This. We only oh. have him for the rest of the until tonight right I, I i'm not well equipped to deal with this for much longer if he sticks around then i'll have a new job for you all right good to know all righty um so is this the uh this the clubhouse or is there somewhere else where we've got like better drinks and different stuff and cool like more hookers maybe i don't know yeah this is our main hooker establishment but we we do have the how <laughs> We do have the House of Hooks. It's not, it's not, it is not a butcher. I don't know why I have to keep explaining this. It has 87 VHS tapes of Hook from 1994. And one heart shaped bed. <laughs> Mirror on the no ceiling? TV. <laughs> the bed is made of the VHSs. No. All right. So what you're saying is. Anyway, I'm part of the skinny walkers now. Yeah, you are. And actually, you proved yourself pretty well back there. And with Rodrigue now being a corpse and all, we actually got a we got a little something going on uh, going on that we can cut you in on. But not like a sex thing, right? Again, this see I feel like this is you now. I feel like this is your thing. I feel like you want me to say yes so you can be a gasp but reluctantly agree to it. I feel like you're pushing this narrative onto me now. And, and, and when he says, I feel like I, you you want to be a gasp but reluctantly agree, I go, <gasps> me? Never. Unless, you know, I need to. <laughs> Okay, I feel incredibly validated by that. Anyway, so we've uh we've got a deal going on tomorrow, picking up a a few supplies from uh a few of our benefactors here in the city. Uh, I want you to go there, make sure everything goes smooth. Okay. All right. Can do. Um, All right. Tell me where it is now, or. I, I was just about to say, meet back here tomorrow, and I'll have a few of the boys head out with you. All right. It's as good as done, boss man. That's right, it is. Starwipe. <laughs> <laughs>